upon the ear in the right position. For babies born with common ear malformations, there's a solution that doesn't involve surgery. Coming up, new research shows timing is everything for this type of treatment. Go ahead back and back in the a little bit more quickly. The Eldridges yeah. thought their newborn son was perfect at birth, except for one small thing, his right ear. It looks like maybe there's more extra skin or something, or the ear looks like uh, a little bit folded on the top edge of the ear. This child has what we call an absent rim. For most outer ear malformations, the solution can be simple. It's called ear molding. We really like to do this within the first six weeks. That's key. That's because the maternal hormones, hormones from mom's body that are still in the baby's body, keeps that cartilage soft. A plaster replica of the baby's ear is made so that a customized hard plastic mold can be created, then carefully placed on the ear. There's a little clip with a spring with just the right amount of tension to hold the ear in position, but not squeeze the ear too tight. He can feel that he has something there. He can, but um, he, he forgets about it. Ear molds are usually worn for about six weeks, but results can be seen sooner than that and last a lifetime. You see your ear before, buddy? Oh, yeah. You see that look? Yeah. <laughs> look, that was your ear before. Now it looks perfect. I'm Marty Salt reporting. What age do they start them on iPads now? Six weeks? Oh, Is that gosh. that? He's really looking. Avoid it.